Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and to be phys healthy both physically and emotionally, exercise is key. Sarah Barrett joins us from the Thomas M. Warner Center. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we're talking about exercise. How exactly does that improve our mental health? So exercise is a, has a really big role to play in uh, reducing anxiety, depression, negative mood, um, improving your self-esteem overall. Uh, you know, because when we exercise and we kind of get that rush of endorphins, we feel better about ourselves, about what we're capable of. Um, exercise will help increase oxygen to the brain. So when we're having uh, mental health challenges like anxiety, depression, getting more oxygen up there can help getting the blood pumping and, and moving throughout your body. Um, it can, you know, again, like release those feel good endorphins. Um, and then relieving stress. It's a really great way to relieve stress. So if you've got, uh, you, you know, you've had a really stressful day and you just kind of had like that pent up energy, getting it out through exercise or, or even like with that increasing self-esteem, uh, feeling good about yourself in general. Yeah, and you know, it, it's there's science behind this that it actually really does work. So um, it, why not give it a try? And it can also make, I think, you know, when you go to the gym or you have a health club or, you know, exercise classes, you can, you can make some friendships there. Oh, absolutely. So exercise can be a really great avenue to building a community and getting involved in the community too. So whether that's joining a gym or for me, uh, yoga is really important. So going to my yoga studio um, and doing those classes. Here at the Werner Center, we have the fitness studio uh, where we have people that have made really great friendships in that studio, just, you know, walking on the treadmill, riding the bike, you know, you're getting healthy, you're you're getting those good endorphins, you're, you're having that support network you're finding friends you're having that sense of belonging somewhere through that community you might also be able to share your experiences with with other people people who uh, maybe have um, anxiety depression things like that yeah absolutely uh, so especially here at the Werner Center um, the exercise has been really important for a lot of us in our recoveries uh, for me I know I actually am in recovery from an eating disorder. And so being able to use exercise in a healthy way to uh, have that healthy relationship with my body. And it's kind of like appreciating what my body is able to do to kind of help me through my mental health challenges, uh, physical health challenges. And, and again, like that, that sense of community that can come from um, exercise as well. It, it, it's so important in so many ways and it can be free. Um, I know here at the center, like with staff, a lot of times we'll take our breaks and just go for a walk around the block. Mm -hmm. You know, that can kind of help relieve stress. It can, it can have that supportive environment. You know, what about people who say, you know, um, I don't know if I could do it physically or, you know, I'm just getting started. What are some tips and tricks you have for us? Yeah, so it's really about just little things. Uh, so uh, sometimes when we think about exercise, we think like, oh my gosh, I am not capable of spending an hour, you know, lifting weights right now. And it's really not about that. It's just about a little like five minutes getting up and taking a walk around your house. Even things such as uh, chores that you're doing at home, like just to get up and move um, purposefully doing movements and purposefully helping your body uh, kind of get, get that blood flowing and, and get those endorphins going. So it really can just be little tiny things throughout the day. You know, first thing in the morning, even before you get out of bed, doing some stretches or doing some basic exercises, um, little spurts throughout the day. So, you know, take five minute breaks. If you have a, a job that you're at a desk all day, every, you know, five minutes, an hour, every hour, you know, get up, walk around, move, stretch, uh, kind of do anything and then really the last tip is just ultimately appreciating what your body can do yeah. everybody's body is going to be able to do something different and have different challenges but any kind of movement that you can bring to that can help your mental health it can help your physical health so it is important I think maybe incentivizing a little bit sometimes too like if I work out today I'm gonna buy myself a cute little workout outfit or new sneakers or you know even a new book or something you know uh, if I get this done if I accomplish this and then you just feel better in general anyway so it, it all works out exactly it really is a great incentive to once you realize how much better it makes you feel uh, you know having that healthy exercise routine very good, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Great tips. Thank you so much.